Guardian columnist Lucy Mangan and her mum recently went house hunting because her mother wanted a home that she and Lucy's dad could eventually retire to. Thing was, it soon emerged that Lucy's dad knew absolutely nothing about it. So it seems that her mum is happy to make life-changing decisions without consulting her dad. So, in our own homes, are we the decision makers or do we always rule as a double act? Well, I think on, in, you know, if I got home one day and there was a for sale sign outside my house, I might be a little bit upset that he'd made that decision without me. But um, I think probably because I'm kind of, um, you know, I'm laid back and I'm not really bothered about many things. So I'll go to him, oh, like he'll go, well, I'll wait till you get home and we'll, you know, we'll sort that out together. And I go, no, you just, you carry on, it's fine. Whatever you decide is fine. Really? Yeah, but then on other things that he's not interested in, he'll say the same to me. Like, um, when we were getting married, it was very important to him, as well as me, about choosing the venue. You know, he wanted to say in where the, the venue was going to be and if he liked it and all of that. But then when it came to the flowers and cars and all of that, he absolutely didn't care. It was like, I don't care. Why do we need flowers, you know? <laughs> Why do we need a car? We can walk, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so then I made those decisions. So we kind of balance each other out. But I would say that possibly he makes probably the most important decisions. I mean, after Kira was born, it was more his decision that we weren't going to have any more because yeah. I probably would have liked another one. Um, and were you all right with that? Um, yeah, because I, what I never said to him was I wasn't talking about having another one with him. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't really his decision, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. No, but we, we come from a kind of family, I guess, of really quite strong-minded women. I mean, my grandma was fantastic, my Granny Garrett. She, um, in the war, she used to like to move house while my granddad was away. She used to try and get better council houses all the time. And my granddad used to come back from the war and knock on the door, and it wasn't her. She wasn't there. <laughs> she was gone and taking the family. And he used to have to ask round. You don't know where my wife well, is, do you? Was she kind of lazy, No, I don't think so. I mean, she wasn't bothered either way, really. But it happened. She knew he'd find her eventually, yeah. you know. But she I do think... She can't let him know, though. I mean, they, you know, she well, couldn't ring him on his mobile or anything, could no, she? No, no, that's true. <laughs> Send a so, pigeon, yeah. you know. They kept but I do think it, it is good if you can mm. to try and make decisions together and I do try and involve Peter in my decisions. Sorry, no. I do, I, I think it is good but to be honest, Peter, my husband, he's a doctor in case you don't know, his head is just full of other stuff, patients, prescriptions, you know, and, and it's really hard for him actually I think to, to kind of think of all these things at the same time. So I try and plant a seed, you know, I'll say to him, look, I think we need to think about this, we need to make a decision about this, love. I've oh. already decided what I think we should do. But, you know, I, you, you've so got to you try and... you make him think he's made the decision, but bit. actually you've well, no, completely we... manipulated the situation. <laughs> well, I try and get a discussion so you going. You've like, made so a decision, you but decision. you just want to make out you're involving him, but you don't... I do you're care. Not I mean, what about the really big yeah. things, like, you know, where you live, your kids, well, all that stuff? Well, having a second baby, he didn't know much about that, if I'm Absolutely. Well, it was about something to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we just had one. I said, oh, look, I'm pregnant again. Fancy. And He's I was like, doctor, he must know where it came from. Well, <laughs> he said I'd be all right because I was breastfeeding from the first one. Hmm. How about that? Oh. Got that wrong, didn't he? Oh, so he well, so yeah. didn't know at all that you were both trying for a baby? Not really. It was, but we were, he he was, was so frisky. tired. I just thought I'd take that off his shoulders, you know, because he was so tired with the first one not sleeping <laughs> ever, you know. <laughs> Leslie, I'm so naughty, surprised. <laughs> Why? Well, I'd be quite happy if he Darren was very just... happy. He was very happy. With yes, it. I'm sure he's very happy with the outcome. Um, I'd just be happy if Darren could make a decision. He is—he just talks himself round and round in circles. Drives me nuts. Uh, his, I, I, his middle name should be Proca Procrastinate. I can't even say it because mm. um, he just can't seem to kind of. You know what it comes from? I think it's a lack of confidence in in. In your, your decision, judgment. yeah, in your yeah. own judgment, absolutely. Well, um, how trivial though? Small things. What should he wear to go to the airport? Is that it? <laughs> but he goes to so the airport. It could be that to some of the bigger stuff. But yeah, it just is. He, he'll talk things through in huge detail, and sometimes you know you're just too busy, and you just have to make decisions. You know, like what should we order if we're having a takeaway? Mm. And I say you do it, and it's like you can see the responsibilities <laughs> overwhelming him. He's like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> remember she doesn't eat duck doesn't eat duck because then the duck because he's scared because if he gets it wrong you're gonna go nuts no i don't yeah you yeah. do yeah. crackers <laughs> <laughs> go yeah, but you crackers bill. <laughs> yeah bill. 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 Yeah. Well, we don't, well we don't really have
have any, you know, big decisions to make. I think the biggest decision we have to make every day is, you know, what we'll have for us tea. <laughs> that's what he that's says what every I'm talking day. About. He's like, oh, what should we have for us tea? I'm like, oh, I don't know. You decide. And he goes, shall I go get a pizza? And I go, oh, I don't want a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so he does try, does try to make decisions, you know, day-to-day -day ones. But yeah. usually I end up subconsciously unconsciously, subconsciously overruling them. And mm. I don't mean to, but, you know, I'm kind of a bit more headstrong than he is. He's a bit like you. He, he's, he's very laid back and very passive. Mm. He'll just go along with whatever I say. So, so you tell him what to do? Well, I don't tell him what to no, do. I no, you mean, I I'm the same. I do, but with, our, yeah. with my wedding, I mean our wedding... <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I said that on purpose because I have in the past referred to it as my wedding. Well, and it isn't my wedding, but we're yeah. both completely involved in that decision. But it's not a discussion, it's not an ongoing discussion because my theory is with, with massive decisions like that is the answer just comes to you eventually. And it will do because yeah. we've got no be, idea. You'll say, Mark, this yeah. is what's happening. And he'll go, that's yeah, right, so, yeah. yeah, right. yeah what we're having for his tea. This is who's coming. And he'll go, oh, I don't know what we'll have for his tea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you.